Good day, and welcome to episode 21 of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. There are too many distractions which prevent people from playing roulette perfectly. So the goal of this channel is to honestly see if certain flat betting strategies can deal with real world and human imperfection. There are also too many charlatans misinforming novice players online. So, I also want to assist others assess the quality of the advice they are viewing. Today's test strategy is from an August 1, 2022 episode of the Roulette Channel YouTube channel generically titled The Unbeatable Roulette Winning Tactic. No matter what strategy anyone touts, there is always that pesky house edge which varies between 1.35 to 7.69%, therefore, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. With any luck, we can uncover and exploit an exception. It's not going to happen today because reasons. Those reasons are that it's just an unoriginal high coverage bet made to seem like a perpetual winner by covering all numbers on the felp. However, not all numbers pay more than the bet. Since I play online, I'll stick to the European game because it dominates with online casinos. There are 37 winning numbers out of a possible 37, giving you a 100% likelihood of winning on each spin. However, 9 of the 37 are partial wins so the true winning percentage is a more realistic 76%. To simplify things for analysis and scaling, I've reduced the unit size to $1, euro, or pound. The creator should have as well. What Einstein would play a 4,000 clam cover them all bet? Then again, what does the creator care what you bet? Larger fake money bets in a video make him look like a high roller. Besides, he loses nothing if you follow his advice and get your ass handed to you. The bet is simple. Place 15 units on the first dozen, one unit each on the 13 to 15, 16 to 18, 19 to 21, 22 to 24, 25 to 27, 28 to 30, 31 to 33, and 34 to 36. Then put one unit each on 0, 14, 15, 17, 18, 20, 21, 23, 24, 26, 27, 29, 30, 32, 33, 35, and 36. You will win 8 units if the ball lands on 14, 15, 17, 18, 20, 21, 23, 24, 26, 27, 29, 30, 32, 33, 35, or 36. You will win 5 units if the ball lands on 1 to 12. You go down 4 if the ball lands on 0 and you get spanked with a 28 unit loss if the ball lands on 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 31, or 34. If it's any consolation, the game tells you that you won when you lost those 4 or 28, so there's that. As always, the chart below shows the progress of the strategy as misplayed and gives a hint at how volatile the bet is. Now let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. Unbeatable, my fat ass. 
It's actually less bad than a lot of other cover all number strategies, but it still stunk up the joint and only a fool would use it with real money. To nobody's astonishment, it lost more than the house edge. We were never in profit after the first spin, maxing out the buy in at positive 8, then hitting a low watermark of negative 269 units before finishing at negative 154. We won 74 times and lost 26. We got 36, 8 unit wins which was 7 fewer than expected, 38, 5 unit wins which was 6 more than expected, 4, 4 unit losses which was 1 more than expected and finally 22, 28 unit wax which was expected. In short, if this was a workplace performance review or a student's report card, I'd say does not meet expectations. Getting more 5 unit wins over 8 unit wins made this worse than it could have been. I ran a few statistical tests on the results. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely random. The average number of spins before we got a hit was 1.4 with a standard deviation of 0.6. That means it took 2 spins or less to get a win 65% of the time and 3 spins or less 95% of the time. The maximum number of consecutive wins and losses was 3. I won't even test this with real money using pennies, a coin so worthless that our mint stopped producing them. Find a better strategy. If you are flat betting, a good one is one that oscillates between profitability and loss so you can quit when you're up and bounce back when you're down. That being said, it's still roulette and the house holds a considerable advantage. Keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. So test strategies on a simulator and read the critiques of any strategy that you are planning to use. Also, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time and some don't work at all. Adjust your risk level accordingly. Good luck until the next time.